Hello everyone. Today I will teach to you the next point in this chapter is the mechanism of electrolysis. You know the definition of electrolysis. The chemical decomposition of electrolyte takes place by passing the electric current through its solution or in fused state are called electrolysis. Is, is it not? You know the definition of electrolyte again. What is by electrolyte? The chemical substance which have ability to conduct the electricity and to form its corresponding ions such substance are called as the electrolyte. Today I will teach to you the mechanism of electrolysis of NaCl. You know the example of electrolyte NaCl is the best example of electrolyte. If you take the sodium chloride solution in the electrolytic device and dip the two electrode and connect the electrode to the positive and negative terminal of battery. You know that the electrode which is connected to the positive terminal of battery are called anode and the electrode which is connected to the negative terminal of battery is called as a cathode. If you pass the electric current through the sodium chloride solution according to Arrhenius theory if you pass the electric current through the any electrovalence substance or fused electrolyte solution then what happens they are ionized it form a cation and anion here any series electrolyte if you pass the current through this solution then it form a cation sodium cation and chlorine anion according to Arrhenius theory when this ion is formed in the solution then what happens they are attracted towards the opposite pole it means that sodium metal having the positive charge therefore they are attracted to the negative terminal of battery means cathode and chlorine have a negative charge therefore they attract towards the positive terminal of battery that called anode when they are attracted then what happens the discharging of cation and anions is takes place discharging means the negative charge ions lose the electron and positive charge ions accept the electron in this figure you see carefully the cl ions is attract towards the anode then what happens you know the definition of anode the negative terminal of battery is called as the sorry positive terminal of battery is called as the anode on the anode what happens chlorine ion is collected around the electrode therefore this chlorine negative charge ion lose the electron and form a neutral chlorine atom when these two chlorine atom neutral atom close together it liberate the chlorine gas on the anode actually what happens here on the anode electron is loose the chemical reaction remember very important point the chemical reaction the electron is loose the reaction is called as the oxidation in short de-electronation is called as the oxidation and you remember oxidation reaction always takes place on the anode this is a very important point oxygen takes place on the anode you remember very important point and reduction takes place on the cathode means the negative terminal of battery is called as the cathode in this example sodium ion is deposited or attracted towards the cathode therefore they are having a positive charge this positive charge of sodium ion accept the electron from the anode which is liberated on the anode if sodium ion accept or gain the electron it form a sodium neutral atom this process is called or the reaction called as the reduction reaction the reaction in which electron is accept the reaction is called as the reduction reaction it means that the reduction always takes place on the cathode such type of reaction easily tells whenever the electrolyte contain the single cation or anions 
here the solution contain the only one electrolyte therefore it form only sodium cation and chlorine anion consider if the electrolyte contain the more than two cations then what happens which cation discharge firstly this discharging of cation or anion depending upon the different types of factor try to understand the first factor for example the electrolyte contain the positive charge potassium ion fe dipositive ion and cu dipositive ion solution contain the these ions example then which type of cation first discharge on the cathode it depends upon you remember its reactivity the reactivity series the metal atom or metallic ions which are arranged in the decreasing order of its reactivity are called the activity series of cations you see on blackboards this series is called as the activity series of cations on this series we can classify this cation into three groups the ions which are extremely present on the top side that cations are called as the more reactive the ions which are present at the middle position are called moderate reactive and the ions which is present below the hydrogen atom are called less reactive depending upon the reactivity we will easily tells the which type of cation first discharge on the cathode in this example three cation is present you observe these three ions in the active series of cations the copper is present at the bottom fe is present at the middle position and potassium present at the top position therefore which is the less reactive copper is a less reactive therefore at a definite voltage the copper is deposited firstly on the cathode or discharge firstly then slightly high voltage the iron is deposited and here potassium is highly reactive cations therefore it is remains as it is in the solutions i understand this is the first point or first factor second factor according to magnus rule the discharging of cation depends upon its concentration of cation the cation which are higher in concentration in the electrolyte they are firstly deposited then other deposited for example if the solution contain fe dipositive ion and zn dipositive ion in the solution consider zinc is a high concentration then which is the first dis discharge here zinc is according to magnus rule the zinc is deposited firstly at the cathode or discharge firstly at the cathode then iron is discharged i understand third factor is the types of electrode used in the electrolysis process it means that discharging of cation depends upon three factor first is the reactivity of cation second is the concentration of cation and third is the type of electrode used in the electrolysis process i understand same phenomena also takes place at the anode it means that if the electrolyte solution contain the more than two anions then which is first discharge again it depends upon its reactivity here activity series of anion is given on the blackboard the at the anion which is present at the top position they are highly reactive high reactive middle is the moderate reactive and bottom is the less reactive ion consider for example the solution contain the chlorine bromine and iodine ion 
then which anion discharge firstly it depends upon its reactivity series reactivity of anions in this three ions which is the less reactive iodine is the less reactive because it is present at the bottom in the series therefore ion first accept the electron and discharge firstly then bromine is discharge at slightly high voltage this neutron iodine atom combine and iodine is liberated at the anode you understand sometime the discharging of an ion depends upon the type of electrode and the concentration of solution also for example if you use the copper or silver electrode and it is deep in its own salt solution at that time copper electrode itself lose the electron and form a copper ion in the solution it means that discharging of an ion again depends upon the three factor first is the reactivity of anions second is the concentration of anions and third is the nature of electrode used in the electrolysis process i understand what is the mechanism of electrolysis which type of question may be asked in the examination it may be multiple choice question or short questions they will be given in the description box thank you